How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. My voice is kind of raspy. Oh, very Thank you. <clears throat> how are you? Oh, it's, it's exactly that reps. I mean, you can even tell by the way I look, I need to get my butt in shape. So coach has us running after the guys and making sure we know how to run to the ball. But uh, it's great. You know, one of the key words, the process and developing, right? So the only way you can develop is actually get meaningful reps. And whether it's uh, uh, teaching and individuals, whether it's half, half line stuff, or whether it's full team or 707, like, a lot of guys are getting a lot of reps at a lot of places, so it's really good. Do you see a difference in some of your defensive guys? Prince Will, Lenhart, Maverick, here in the spring. Are they able to be up with the first team set of practice players or having more time to practice? Everything is daily, daily competition, daily rotations. I mean, we got some guys moving from red to black and black to red. Uh, with the A team, with the B team. So we're constantly moving guys around. Uh, we want to reward guys who do it the right way and, and do it well. And we want to make sure that we send a message to guys that if you're not going to do it the way it's supposed to be done, you're not going to play. So. Yeah, I mean, right now we're just we're just trying to concentrate on the operation that we know what to do, we know what our identity is, and whether it's, again, whether it's individual walkthrough or whether it's full team competition, we know how we're supposed to act. And uh, so far it's been good, but uh, we still got a long way to go. Yeah, you know what? That, that's I'm glad you brought that name up. I think that is that is truly what represents the process and what Coach Rules has brought here. You know, you talk about a guy like Buck. You know, we identified, hey, he needs to be closer to this weight. Uh, that's Corey. That's the Kristen in the nutrition. That's uh, uh, Mitch over at the sports science. That's everybody included. Uh, constantly giving him the resources he need he needed in order to get himself in the best shape he's been in. Uh, he's flying around. He's happy. He's being a leader out there. I'm really, really excited for what it what he's been able to do, and that's representative of, of what's here now. I'm not, we're in good shape. We're 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 getting in the playing shape. You know, they've been running and lifting, and you can see they've gained 10, 12, 15 pounds. They're leaner. They're explosive. Now we're getting in the actual football shape. And like I said, I, coaches included. I mean, it is it, it, it's a lot of moving parts, and and we have to do make sure we do our job so that way those guys can go out there and do their job. However many that we can. You know, again, uh, at, at the beginning. You know, you don't see it as much at the beginning because everybody's fresh and, and, and healthy. It's really when you get to those championship months in, you know, late October, November, December, where you see if you've got great depth and you've got a lot of guys playing, chances are the injuries are down. you got guys who can you can throw in there, and we're still playing at a high level. So you want to play as many that can play and, and hold the standard uh, of what we're trying to do on defense. Right now, how would you, uh, how do you Uh, everything's on my mind. I mean, to how we do meetings, to how we're arranging walkthroughs. Again, when you're getting so many reps, you're you're dealing with so many guys. So you got to be able to know how to watch the film so everybody can see because you want everybody in tune. You know what I mean? Uh, our base D and D. Am I doing too much? Am I doing too little? How are we trying to simplify things like that? So. Uh, again, right now it's more operation. You know, are we doing things the right way? And then as we get deeper into camp and we get more into a rhythm, then we, we're going to go more specifically, okay, he's here on third down, he's here on third down. But right now it's just let's operate the right way. Let's get him to know how to run to the ball, play with dominant contact, play with Husker speed, and, and get him going.
Yeah, so so with that, you know, I, when I took the when I was able to take this opportunity here, you know, I did not have any game responsibilities. They had already hired Rocky over there. And if you watch the game closely, they went to a different personnel grouping because of they had a whole bunch of injuries. So schematics wise, it was a little different because they, they put some stuff in there. But uh, it, it gives you a sense of maybe what they're thinking. But also, you know, their running back only played the first half and all that stuff. So we're going to we're going to watch it. We're going to break it down. But it's going to be our normal game plan stuff from the games that we think are, are going to be comparable and, and devise a game plan that way. One of the players we're talking about, 1% better every day. Yeah. What does that look like from your perspective as the D coordinator getting these guys ready to go? Everything. I'm talking about from myself to the assistant coaches, down to the players on how we're watching film, how we're trying to get reps in, mental reps for the guys who are standing in the back. Uh, schematics wise, are we teaching it the right way? Are we doing too much, too little? Are guys absorbing the language? Do we need to change something? I mean, right now in camp, again, I, I keep talking about the operation, right? We want to make sure we are giving the guys the best chance to know what to do, know how to do it, so they can go do it on the grass, which they're, get, they're getting a chance on the grass. So we have to make sure we're right. So again, every little, every little thing. And then it's, it's awesome because Coach Rule, same deal. He's, he's, he's on us, offense, defense. He's, hey, why are we doing this drill? What does this look like? How come we're teaching this? So again, there's a lot of moving parts. Okay? Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a ton to do, man. We want to win the game. Shoot, there's, there's a ton. Of, and we got a lot of guys playing. Got a, You know, it's cool to see when you look up and you see, you know, you see Buck out there, you see Nash, and you see Blaze, and you see Cam, then you see, then you, then you see guys down the line, A.J. Rollins and, and, and Kai, and then you see Sue out there, and you're just like, wow, wave after wave. You're trying to get those guys to know what to do. And there's a, there's a point in, the, in, in practice where a guy makes a play and he did it the right way and he used Husker speed and he used dominant contact and it's like, that was it. And you can see it in their face. They're like, that's what it feels like. We're trying to get everybody to that point. Athletic, move, the athletic, moving guys around. You know, you got some, uh, some of the old guys, Omar, Corey, uh, Malcolm, Tommy. I mean, Q, those guys. Uh, Giff is, is doing a great job. And now you're starting to see those other guys, Eric Fields, a little bit show up. You know, getting uh, Hunter there, uh, Dwight Boodle showing up. So, again, we're trying to move guys around, see them. They, they, they're getting a lot of reps and throwing a lot of stuff at them just to see what they can absorb. Yeah, I, I got a lot of respect for a guy, again, who embraces the process and he improves. You know, that, that's what you're supposed to reward is improvement, right, the buy-in. And, again, just like Buck, they believe in you. You got to believe in them back. You know what I mean? And so when they do good things and, and on and off the grass, when they're a good teammate, when you see the change, when you see, hey, he was like this over here, and now he's totally like this, you want to reward that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, he's he's everywhere, and right now he's he's at the rover, and he's 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 doing a good job. He's doing a good job. A to B, and then a B to C. I can't coach. I'm sorry, bro. That that that's all the players. So. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, you see that a lot in the in the older guys because they see the game. You know, they know, hey, I was supposed to be over here, but I saw the ball, so I, I took a I took a hole over here. I took my chance over here. It's it's cool to see them still have that confidence and let it loose in the in the in the defense. Um, but again, it comes back to the moment when you see the young guys do that. The young guys be like, oh, I can do this, you know, and uh, and we're harping on the guys for for going fast. You know, we, 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 we had an incident where a guy was trying to be too correct versus playing fast. And so I yelled at him because, hey, dude, I don't, I'm not worried about that right now. I just care that you let loose and you go and you play with. I'm going to consider, I'm going to keep on saying this, Husker speed. That's the way we're going to play her. Husker speed, full, full go, full tilt. I'm not worried about making a mistake, and I want to play my butt off. Yeah, that's practice. That's individuals. That's the way you watch film. That's the way you install. And then again, they go out there and they see it. They do it and they say, oh, okay, I see why. You know, it's, it's always the why behind it. I say, oh, why I came underneath because I saw this. Okay, good. I'm glad. You know, it's just when you ask them the question, why did you do that? If they're like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. That's where you have the issues, right? That's where you probably didn't make the play. But you're like, hey, why'd you do that? Coach, I saw him do this and I saw the ball over here, so I went over there. Gotcha. I can live with that.
Yeah, you know, I, I hear it. You know, I hear it on the sideline when I'm speaking to some or I'm watching a play and I can hear it in the background. Hey, watch this ball. Hey, this play. Hey, you're supposed to be over there. They're lining themselves up. And you need that with the way we're practicing. And because you, you don't have all the coaches in one area, you have all the coaches spread out, right? Coaches trusting everybody. We're all trusting everybody to do their job. So it's a reinforcement from the players. And the first people you hear, Luke, Bullock, Reimer in the back end, yelling that guy Blaze back there, coaching, coaching the guys as well, and that's that's total team buying right there, which is going to help in the long run. That's what we're doing. We're throwing a lot at them, right? I mean, coach made the point. This is this is what this is what it's about, right? Practice is everything. Games are everything. So we're throwing a lot at them, especially early on, so that way we can see what they're absorbing. It's always, i rather cut it back than not have enough, you know what I mean? So right now, again, it's full installs for the first couple of days, then we'll see where they're at and then reassess and then go from there. Roommate, what happened? You get a roommate in the I I'm not going to say nothing right now about that, man. Hey, that's, still up, that's still up for debate. Still, I'm, I, I'm always going in there thinking and I'm looking at that other bed. Okay, nobody's, nobody's in there, nobody was in there yesterday, so I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, that's all, that's all I know. You know. You never know. Never know. All so. good. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks.